Uh, hello everybody, my name is Devin and welcome back to another True Survival Patch Notes video. Today we have version 3.1.0. Uh, this is the first content update after True Survival 3.0 and I'm quite excited. Without further ado, let's get started. So, first up we have a change to the copper beacons. Now we've removed the final stage of oxidized copper from that, uh, that set of blocks. This still includes wax oxidized copper and all the other copper variants. So what this means is that your copper beacons will be sort of on a time limit as a cost to using a cheaper material to build your beacon base. Uh, I think it will create some unique gameplay where uh, you have a temporary beacon almost uh, in exchange for uh, just using cheaper materials. But yeah, quite simple, if I were to replace one of these blocks with oxidized copper, uh, the beacon would slowly deactivate, like so. And if I were to replace it with the wax version of it, it would slowly come back on. There we go. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple. But I think this would be a much more balanced way of implementing this feature. On to the next one. So, up next we have an all new healing source in True Survival. Every three minutes, if certain conditions are met, the player will heal half a heart. Uh, I've kept this pretty conservative as it, we're still testing it out and working out a bit of the balance, but what are the conditions? Your surroundings will have to have a minimum of a level 8 light level, and you can check your light level here. So this can be accomplished by just being outside, uh, being around torches, lava, whatever, just strong, powerful light sources. Uh, and you'll be able to regenerate half a heart every few minutes. Uh, the other condition is that you... Oh, and we just caught it down there. <laughs> the other condition is that you have above 16 hunger points, or 16 hunger points or above. So what that means, since uh, hunger points are broken down into uh, one point uh, every half haunch, uh, 20 points total, if you have up to the last two empty haunches right here, so if you have at least this much, you'll be able to uh, receive this brief regeneration. Uh, but yeah, so this should help uh, everybody out when they're exploring or just doing general building. That should help out a lot without uh, taking away from any of the combat situations or general danger. You won't really be able to rely on this when you're being chased by, say, a hundred creepers or whatever the, whatever the heck you're doing. Alright, but uh, yeah, on to the next changes. This next change is targeting the hunger systems introduced in True Survival 3.0. Now the hunger debuff applied when using netherite chest plates, diamond chest plates, or the campfires won't be nearly as punishing. Uh, you won't really be able to tell the uh, visual difference as much. Uh, just because the hunger effects will be targeting saturation before the uh, changing hunger points themselves. Um, but overall, in the long run in your world, I think you'll feel a bit less punished for using these features. Gilded bartering was found to be too lucrative. Uh, now, the amount of loot you'll be getting from gilded bartering has been much lessened. Uh, the changes, the items themselves haven't been changed, but the amount of items you'll get from most of the uh, treasure type drops uh, will be less. You'll still, though, be able to get a lot of great loot from using Gilded Murder. The final change is targeting the REM sleep feature. Uh, previously, the amount of absorption granted was 10 minutes. Uh, now, this will be reduced to 7. Originally, it was brought in to help lessen the feels bad when taking random bits of damage when walking around or exploring. The passive regeneration should help with that. But yeah, that is just about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, downloading, everything. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to what True Survival has in store. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.